Oh. Okay, so we have what we have here today is the AIO from ASUS. This is the V241E. And let's see what kind of stuff we can expect from this AIO. And most importantly, whether if this is a viable option for you to purchase as opposed to a laptop. So here's the thing about uh, unboxing this kind of uh, AIO PCs because you have a big a device that need to take it out and experience is a big monitor so you have to like take extra care and follow the instructions okay so that's uh, pretty much what all you get inside the box the AIO you need as well as an accessory box which I believe you should get everything you need to get started with so yes what you get inside the box number one is a full size keyboard very it looks very similar to a IMAX keyboard a wireless mouse and a double A battery for the wireless mouse I believe so and of course lastly is the power adapter to power up this entire AIO user manuals and documentation and stuff like that I'm not gonna touch the user manual for the time being uh, how do I put a battery in it oh oh but it is kind of okay so the double a battery is actually for the mouse and it is a bit tricky to open the bottom uh, cover here but one thing is good about having a cover that you can remove because the receiver is actually can, can be stored under the, the mouse over here battery for this keyboard is I think is here so this one I, I don't understand why they use triple A battery for keyboards and then double A battery for a mouse like you can at least try to standardize the I mean the battery size for keyboard I don't mind if you use double A because keyboards usually you just uh, put it on the table and you don't move it around that much so weight is not a concern but for mouse really a, a single double A I can accept it would be better if they use a single triple A because the lighter the mouse it is less stress on our wrist oh by the way I forgot to mention about a single dongle is used to pair both of these keyboard and mouse so one dongle for both okay that's fine let's focus on the AIO now the front is pretty straightforward what we have here is just a 24 inch to be exact is 23.8 inch but well let's just draw it out to call it a 24 inch display with matte surface finish so you will get less glare but at the cost of of course the sharpness of the display and everything at the bottom here interestingly they place the webcam under the asus logo here generally this is not really a good position to put a webcam because it is either pointing at your chest or if you like pointing upwards directly into your nostril but let's go around and see what kind of ports we get here okay here's the thing about AIOs uh, most of the time they sacrifice some usability for aesthetics of course uh, what we see here is all the ports located at one single location the power adapter barrel jack the RJ45 Ethernet port HDMI port and four USB type A ports and oh they have another HDMI port interestingly this one is input that means you can use this AIO as a monitor let's say you have a console you can plug it as a another display so you have cleaner desktop setup most of the time we don't really see this kind of support because AIOs they usually just treat it as a display for the computer and that's it you can't really take any inputs 
but this one okay interesting if you can support it good job basis over here there are two boards that is hidden from here actually is positioned right bottom here there's a 3.5 millimeter audio combo jet and a usb type a port but from what i can see in the spec list this usb type a is just usb 2.0 so i presume they made that port specially for this dongle okay another thing i want to highlight is the power button is located at the back yeah aesthetically not not too shabby but yeah you just have to like get used to the power button location many many minutes later okay first of all i have to share a little bit of my impressions on this entire configuration the mouse like i mentioned earlier the double a battery is a little bit on the heavy side and because of how they actually position the battery on the right side so it is actually slightly heavier on the right side compared to the left and i don't know if it is a good thing or not depending on how you use the mouse i i sort of wish they actually just position the battery in the middle even better if they just use a triple a battery the keyboard is a full-size keyboard so i mean it should satisfy most of your household needs typing feel it feels all right and for wireless setup this kind of configuration it looks pretty clean i should say there's no wires around so yeah all good and on top of that in terms of the aesthetics uh, the one we have here is a silver color and i believe asus also have another color which is gold which i believe the peripherals will also follow the color screen now let's talk a little bit about the specifications the model we have here is the highest end model which comes with the intel core i5 1135 g7 cpu nvidia geforce mx 330 and the ram that comes within this body is 8 gigs i'm not too sure if you can actually access to the internal but from what i can see at the back here everything is enclosed and there is no special service door to open and change and upgrade the ram or ssd now when we speak about the storage this one actually comes with uh, 512 gigs of ssd so that should be plentiful for home usage okay now just now we connected the wi-fi and everything so uh, one thing about this particular AIO is that most of the time uh, nowadays ASUS they have equipped their laptops, Weaverbooks, Zenbooks with Wi-Fi 6. Unfortunately this one still come with Wi-Fi 5. Uh, I don't know but generally it is still pretty usable because uh, if you still use AC Wi-Fi, most of households they still have AC Wi-Fi so that should be alright. And as you can see from here, we try to do some gaming tests on this device. 11 gen chips are generally is better right now. And even NVIDIA MX330 is good enough for lightweight gaming, CSGO, Overwatch. And the display is 1080p IPS. While well, ASUS did mention about they have 100% sRGB coverage. But we tested on our colorimeter. Uh, it is somewhere around 90 to 95 percent range it is a little bit far off from the 99 percent or 100 percent range but I, at least it is still pretty good from what i can see and of course for an aio you also get built-in speakers so which means you don't have to worry about getting other speakers and whatnot but uh you can't expect a very good sound quality from this speaker it is just for you to save space on your desktop now which brings us to the argument on this entire debate whether you should get a AIO like this or a laptop such as the ASUS VivoBook because number one is the price is very very near with each another even the configuration is almost similar uh, with the exception of of course AIO will get bigger screen and you can't really take it around now here's the thing about this debate number one it depends on your use case for example do you need your computer with you all the time whether you need it when you bring it out let's say you want to go to work 
if you want to go for a ca to a cafe and do well over there if that's the case then a laptop is of course the obvious choice for you but for those users they don't really need this kind of mobility because i do know a lot of home users they purchase a laptop but in fact they don't really bring it out and most of the time they just use a laptop at home so in that case i would suggest them to get an aio because number one it is way more enjoyable to use with a 24 inch display so the asus v241e comes in three different uh, configuration and three pricing wise the one we have here is the highest range is 3299 with intel 11 gen core i5 1135 g7 and nvidia geforce mx 330 it is 200 ringgit more expensive to the next model which don't have the nvidia dedicated graphics card and then if you want a cheaper model of course they have at 2799 ringgit that one you will have to sacrifice the cpu for an i3 model i personally would recommend you to get the middle option which is a uh, 3099 even though that one doesn't come with dedicated nvidia graphics card but it is still very powerful for your everyday use if you use it for youtube web browsing and everything else that model is the perfect balance between the money you spend and the performance you get of course if you want to do editing lightweight editing on premiere pro and whatnot of course you can fork out that extra 200 ringgit to get the nvidia mx graphics so i hope this video uh, somehow answers your question whether why this thing exists and why some users would choose this one compared to a laptop you see laptop is for portability even though they both them come with the same hardware configuration and at the same price point laptops you can bring it out and work on anywhere else but you will not get the same enjoyment from watching this 24 inch display for entertainment and netflix things like that so yep i guess that is a pretty clear cut between aio and laptop and yep that's all i want to share about uh, this asus aio v241e and if you guys have any questions you want to ask about this particular setup do leave your comments down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video